So the second topic of this uh, talk is uh, silver about the silver nanoparticles. And first, uh, I show you the luminescent zeolite uh, silver particles. And uh, the second topic is the uh, silver uh, nanoparticles on the uh, deposit on the silicon uh, warehouse. So, uh, first one is the creation of silver clusters inside the zeolite, uh, the type of A and X. The, we say the relatively small uh, um, species, we show the clusters. And then more larger uh, several nano, uh, diameters, show the nan, several nano, nanometers, we call it nanoparticles. In this case, the silver is gathered, uh, uh, the number of the silver is about uh, seven or hmm, less than 10, so the diameter of this uh, structure is about few angstrom. We call it the clusters. So as you know, the zeolite has uh, several structures. So the most general one is the uh, zeolite A. Uh, this uh, structure, it, it calls corner is uh, silicon and oxygen and aluminum. The aluminum silicate uh, structures and the diameter of uh, uh, these cavities. There is lots of cavities uh, that are useful for the uh, uh, adsorption, adsorption or some various uh, ions. So uh, diameter is about uh, five angstrom, four angstrom or five angstrom. Another uh, combination of the aluminum silicate show the such kind of such type of zeolite. We call the zeolite X. The diameter of uh, cavities about uh, ten over ten angstrom. And uh, another uh, ratio between the silicon and alumina, aluminum. Uh, there is a zeolite Y type. The same structure, but uh, uh, different ratio of uh, silicon and alumina. So now uh, the silver is zeolite is the exchange from the sodium or uh, calcium, the first uh, cations to the silver. So it's a very useful and versatile family of materials. The catalysis is uh, one of applications and uh, antibacterial materials. So the, in Japanese, Japanese ladies, as uh, my wife uh, showed the uh, silver uh, material, a silver zeolite inside uh, the cream or uh, sprays and antibacterial. So mm, this uh, removed the, the smell. Or information storage and uh, some sensors, pressure or chemical sensors. The lot of uh, applications uh, is expected are expected by the, in the silver zeolite. And uh, other application of the nanoscience as a, in the nanoscience, the metal nanoparticles or metal clusters, the independent on the uh, size of the particles, uh, are useful for the luminescence. I showed you the second part uh, about the luminescence, but uh, the, in this talk, talk uh, we showed uh, uh, how to produce to the cluster inside the uh, zeolite. This is our final model of the zeolite uh, silver, square, uh, silver cluster in the zeolite. Now this is our silicate uh, framework and uh, Silver atoms are uh, make a clusters like, like this. So, the uh, first step of the chemical is synthesis of the sodium zeolite uh, to exchange from the sodium ion to uh, silver <coughs> ions. This is very simple uh, chemical reaction in the thinking thing with the silver 
nitrate solutions. After uh, in that, the, in the vacuum or in most course the atmospheres, so heated up to several hundred degrees. The maximum is uh, five, deg uh, five uh, Celsius degrees. More than up to the uh, heating up to more uh, five, uh, 600 deg degrees, the zeolite framework will break down. So this is a maximum of the controlled uh, temperature. So heating and uh, in this uh, step, uh, the clusters uh, produced. <laughs> the crystallization is occurred. Uh, just after the exchange, there are many uh, lattice oxygens inside the here, and the yellow one is the silver ions. So remove to the uh, this uh, lattice oxygens, the partially uh, reduced of the silver ion to the silver metal. So after uh, the model of the after the uh, heating, uh, some metal is gathers and this is uh, ion, steel ion, and uh, anchored in the uh, cover, uh, no, no, wall of uh, framework of zeolite. So this makes the cluster or silver clusters. Now, uh, what, how what is the structure of the silver zeolite, uh, si silver clusters inside the zeolite? So we study the XF measurement uh, using the such kind of in situ cell. This cell is applicable to the gas evacuating and the temperature control to the liquid nitrogen to 500 uh, Celsius 100 uh, and uh, introducing the various gas. So uh, the, uh, our exhaust is made, uh, performed at uh, KK photon factories. Uh, 25 kilo electron volt is slightly high uh, to the, uh, the hard X regions. So here is the uh, sample uh, folders. Uh, zeolite, silver zeolite is inside and sandwiched to the cover glass. Uh, the Spacer is made from the glass filters because the gas, uh, gas introducing is easy evacuating and easily introducing uh, in a very short time. So we set the inside uh, this uh, inside the cell and X rays come here and we measure the transmission mode of the, to, the, to obtain the exam. Now, uh, this is a summarize of the, our XAF result. This is a Fourier transform of uh, uh, the silver zeolite. Blue one is the uh, uh, before heating. First peak is assigned to the silver oxygens. Oxygens come from the zeolite um, framework and uh, uh, that is water. And second one includes to the silver-silver uh, interaction. And uh, some kind of uh, silver, another uh, further shell or in the uh, silver oxygen. So uh, before the uh, heating, the second peak is more. Uh, on the other hand, the after the heating, the silver-silver peak is inc increasing. So it is a direct uh, evidence, uh, uh, evidence of the making a silver cluster. So our uh, detailed uh, analysis using the curve fitting method is from the uh, distance of uh, AG silver oxygen in the first shell is 2.38 uh, Armstrong and uh, higher uh, coordination number and removing to the lattice uh, waters, the coordination number uh, is degrees and uh, interatomic distance, the silver and oxygen increases. 
the bond to the silver and oxygen is strongest because of the removal of uh, lattice waters located at the another uh, direction. The interpretation of uh, our interpretation to the, this result. So most interesting result is the silver-silver interactions. Uh, of course, an unheated before the heated species, a small, small portion of silver-silver interaction is ex exist. Uh, high position number is about 1.1. After the heating, the interacting distance is slightly de decreasing and the coordination number increasing. This is because that uh, ions is silver plus changing to the silver metals. So, uh, Repulsive force decreasing to the uh, distance increasing, uh, decreasing. And the coordinate number is about uh, 2.6, and sometimes the 2.6 to the 3. Now we try to the quick excess mode, so the very fast scan uh, during the increasing the temperatures. So this is a uh, room temperature is here and uh, five Celsius degrees here. So every spectrum is uh, uh, less than one minute, several 10 minutes, uh, second, uh, uh, continuously measured. So SN ratio was uh, slightly uh, worse, but the Fourier transform is uh, very nice. So we try to the curve fitting again, uh, 2.38, Decreasing to the two point uh, about two point three, and uh, uh, length between the silver silver is slightly decrease during the heating. The most uh, during the uh, 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 temperature range from the ten, uh, 150 to 300, the prominent change appears. In these regions, uh, the much uh, lattice waters removed from the uh, zeolite uh, cavities. So change is very steep in this region. So coordination number is here. In the same uh, regions, the change is very uh, steep. From the uh, silver oxygen, the coordination goes down to the about three. And uh, the crystal cr uh, clusters uh, become gross to the, this change is appear in the this same temperature here. That is interesting to the, after the 300, over the 300 degrees, the slightly changed. The, I think that this is a stabilization uh, process, the shortly uh, decreasing of the coordination number. Now we make a model of silver crystal, a silver cluster uh, inside the cavities. The coordination number is about uh, 2.6, but the uh, error of the coordination number is slightly larger of this such kind of uh, quality data. So uh, we, uh, our model is like that. And in this case, the coordination number is this is a three, four, three, this is one, uh, I'm sorry, this is a one, 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 and uh, this is a four. The average the coordination number is about uh, three uh, plus minus, well. I show you the clear uh, pro process of the produced uh, silver clusters. Now, we show you the next step, the after cluster production. Now, uh, the photoluminescence silver zeolite is a very popular uh, species 
uh, in the world. Of course, the small metal clusters uh, show the optical properties uh, fluorescence of the fluorescence from the light emitting um, in the visible light. And during among the, this uh, clusters, the silver and the golden cluster is special. Uh, they show the bright emission. So uh, analog, uh, analogously to the silver or gold clusters inside the zero zero light, also uh, emitted to the visible light, and it depends on the kind of zero light x, a, or y, or cluster size, uh, and or the number of uh, silver atoms inside the uh, cavities. This is an uh, interesting result uh, uh, studies by the mm, oh, Bel Belgian, Belgian mm, teams for the zero uh, framework the inside the uh, inside the framework uh, it's produced by uh, the produced the silver clusters produced and they emitted to the such kind of uh, clear changing colors. Uh, this is a wavelength of the uh, emission. They conclude the, the cluster, silver cluster, that is, is directly emitted to the such kind of uh, colors. It is interesting that such kind of studies uh, is also popular in Japan. Uh, Japanese companies of the uh, package companies, package companies is strongly studies of this uh, case, these systems, because the package companies, uh, they use the, these uh, properties uh, by the ink, you know, in, uh, outside of the package ink. So that they, uh, so after that, the, um, it is not necessary to the open the check in the inside in the real or imitations, uh, just uh, uh, illuminated to the uh, some excitation light. In the, we can check to the, this luminescence in the real or imitations. I, sh I introduced to the, our systems. Uh, first, it is the same s step. So the first is the sodium zeolite uh, and uh, interchange exchange to the silver and inside the vacuum or, uh, of course, atmospheric uh, atmospheric uh, station is state is uh, of, uh, possible. The crystallizations during the heating. 500 degrees. And after that, uh, we keep the high temperatures uh, about one day. The another uh, species, very stable species here, and uh, cool down to the room temperatures. And after that, uh, various gas is introduced only when the atmos atomic uh, atmosphere, atmospheric gas is in, uh, introduced. Is the very photoluminescence, uh, very strong photoluminescence, uh, uh, observed. Of course, the sodium zeolite, only sodium zeolite, show the very uh, small luminescence. And after the exchanging, also very small. But after the silver clusters produced and cool down and uh, mixed to the uh, atmospheric gas again. The, it is interesting to the photoluminescence peak uh, strongly enhanced, about three times strong. The color is like that. So excitation mm, energy of uh, the, this photoluminescence, about uh, 400 nanometer laser, or uh, I, we used another one, uh, 360 nanometer uh, LEDs. The luminescence 
energy is about uh, five, 600 nanometers, uh, 2.125 electron volt here. So we check uh, what is uh, what what component is effective for this uh, changing the, to the luminescent species, and uh, the clusters once uh, produced inside the zeolite is alive or broken. The mechanism is a very interesting um, or unsolved problems. This is the result of the effect of the introduced gas, some uh, various gases to the photoluminescence. Uh, this is a photoluminescent result, 2.15 peak is appear here, and the blue one and the black one shows the very strong luminescence. This is a air introduced or combination of water and uh, nitrogen. So it is appears the water, uh, water vapor or nitrogen gas is very important for the pure photoluminescence. Water and oxygen, uh, not so important. They're very weak photoluminescence. Uh, just uh, water vapor is also effective more luminescent, and nitrogen, oxygen, uh, not so important, uh, no luminescent. So it is interesting to, the, after the, uh, this species produced, we check the excess result. So uh, there is, a, this is a Kaike spectrum, the, around here, uh, around this part, is a characteristic feature, picture future Char characteristic future appears uh, produced uh, the silver crystal silver cluster uh, this peak is only uh, appear in the silver clusters like that another one is uh, broken to the silver cluster so to transform is appear the this one still alive to the silver cluster this is uh, broken, broken down silver clusters, no silver clusters here. So we summarize to the photoluminescence, character of photoluminescence and uh, silver clusters from existing the silver cluster studies from Ixas uh, for various gas. Strong peel appears only the introduced airs and uh, Vapor, water vapor, and uh, nitrogen. Uh, and other gas shows a no photoluminescent or a very weak photoluminescent. What, how is the silver cluster? In the air introduced, silver clusters broken. And uh, this gas, water and the nitrogen gas, is also broken. Another gas is water gas is introduced uh, that is also broken and the water and the oxygen is also broken but the uh, photoluminescence uh, still very work, weak and oxygen gas uh, is no effective to the photoluminescence and silver uh, cluster still exists nitrogen gas is also exist. So the key point is uh, uh, important to the big photoluminescent is a combination of the water molecules and nitrogen gas. Of course, in the air is a lot of much amount of uh, water vapor and uh, nitrogen gas includes so they are uh, keys for the producing the strong photoluminescent. Unfortunately, this is also the under considerations uh, our uh, study still continues. 
why, uh, what is the law of the, this uh, combination of these gases? If you have uh, any ideas, uh, please contact me, and then we can discuss the how. It and the another important point is uh, strong photoluminescence is not related to the silver clusters, but uh, it is necessary to the broken break breakdown to the silver clusters uh, for the producing the strong photoluminescence. We check the this uh, result. So, water vapor induces the breakdown of the silver cluster. This is very natural. Uh, to in order to produce the silver clusters, the removal of water vapor, water molecules uh, from the cavities is important. So, removal of water molecules induced to the reduction of silver ions to silver metal. The inverse relations, the another uh, water molecules uh, uh, change to the silver metal to the silver ion. But uh, effective uh, for the photoluminescence, uh, nitrogen gas is still necessary. So our uh, reaching point is a strong PL is related to the no silver clusters. Uh, researcher in the world, uh, for example, the Belgian researchers, is believes to the this uh, clusters directly emitted to the uh, strong PLs, but our result is contra con completely contradict to the them. So uh, this is the uh, final result is uh, unheated silver uh, zeolite. Uh, that is uh, no photoluminescence. After that, uh, the introduced to the airs and the keeps the 20 uh, 12 hours, uh, its species still uh, show the strong photoluminescence, but uh, it's uh, almost the same. So no cluster uh, inside the zeolite. Uh, the free transform is here. But the no cluster, uh, we notice the no clusters inside the uh, cavities, but the free transform over excess data is slightly different than before the heating and after the, uh, introducing the gas. So our next uh, uh, challenge is uh, uh, how different? <laughs> what is the, uh, where is the difference come from? So uh, now we check the uh, another uh, contribution from the silver uh, and oxygen inside the framework or silver silicon or silver aluminum. Uh, we don't know the very complicated in, uh, interactions. So the framework and the silver relation and the silver and the framework is very important. That is another evidence of the infrared spectrum. The energy wave number region is of uh, thousand Kaisers. It's assigned by the, uh, the vibration from the zeolite framework. The unheated one is black one, and uh, after the heating and very strong, uh, no. After the heating, there is a, a silver cluster inside the zeolite, and after the introducing the air, uh, the blue peak it become that very short, very small. But uh, in the zeolite framework spectrum is not completely uh, fit of the uh, IR before the heating. So the first state and uh, silver cluster produced 
Then after silver cluster broken, the first and the last one is slightly defined uh, in the Zeroid framework. But uh, uh, in the Exas, from the Exas, the Zeroid uh, framework research is uh, uh, slightly difficult. So we now starting to the silicon KH in the framework and aluminum KH in the framework and oxygen, even oxygen KH spectrum is now uh, uh, measuring and starting to analyze. Another uh, application of uh, nano cluster in zeolite, this is uh, uh, an uh, another zeolite uh, named zeolite X. That is a uh, very strong, or not, this is not a zeolite X, uh, but uh, here is a uh, result of the zeolite X. In the zeolite X, it has a very wide uh, cavities and wide uh, large uh, unit cell, so much uh, sodium ions are incorporated. Uh, 86 sodium, uh, sodium uh, silver ions are uh, existed in, in the one unity. So here is the, uh, how, how change to the silver cluster in the such kind of big cavities. The first is a before uh, exchange and in the vacuum and uh, heating 100, 30, 20, 100, 30, 100. So to 30, 100 uh, in heatings, degrees heatings, the second peak is increasing is very large. So it, uh, our excess analysis shows that the cluster size is like that. The coordina co coordination number is cities of such kind of uh, clusters. The intermediate state is under, uh, uh, in the state of the 100 Celsius degrees. The, we check the, from the curve heating result. Uh, co coordination number is cities such kind of uh, silver clusters. Uh, in the zeolite X, so there are two steps uh, producing to the silver clusters. It is interesting that uh, more less number of silver ions in the cavities, uh, 66. Uh, even in the 200 degrees, uh, the large cluster second are produced uh, already. And uh, that is more interesting, so more or less uh, number of silver, uh, silver ions, uh, tw 12. So just uh, 100 degrees make a very large silver, silver peak, and the result is the same as the cluster second, large cluster. So uh, the number of uh, the Stepping uh, step of the uh, cluster uh, produce it depends on the number of uh, silver ions inside the same zeolite uh, X. Now we move, move on the silver uh, nanoparticles on the silicon wafer. This is a just uh, uh, deposit island, uh, island deposit on the silver uh, silicon wafer. Uh, the controlled by the film thickness. The three nanometer to nine nanometer. This is a film thickness controlled by the uh, oscillator uh, sensors, and uh, diameter is also checked to the I don't know. Ah. This is a uh, hundred nanometers. So se several ten uh, nanometers uh, diameters is appear here, and the large one is here. Our excess result, these 
uh, measured by the electron yield method. Uh, transmission is no, uh, not possible. And uh, of course, the, it is possible to the fluorescence mode, but uh, the electron yield is very sensitive to the surface and uh, it's a very clear excess data. Now, uh, as a cluster size or diameter, diameter decreasing, uh, the amplitude of excess uh, decreasing. So the free transform is here, first peak, second peak, third peak. Uh, this is a typical FCC uh, patterns of the free transform, uh, the peak intensity is decreasing. After curve fitting, uh, this square fittings, uh, we check the co coordination number from the 12 in the FCC result, uh, FCC structure, resulting uh, decreasing, and uh, during the uh, thickness, the film thickness uh, from the 8 to 5, starting, starting the decreasing, and uh, continue to decrease to the coordination number. Because the coordination number has a relation between the surface uh, areas, of mm, the surface areas uh, increasing uh, as the coordination number decreasing. So our motivation of these systems, you know the surface enhanced Raman spectroscopy. Serious. It appears or the uh, the same uh, the range of film thickness from the eight to five. The enhancement of uh, uh, vibration peak or uh, the uh, electric magnetic field between the. Uh, between nanoparticles. I'll show you uh, the substrate. Yes, and the silver particles. Yes. As the monitors, so we uh, introduced to the some um, chemical species here. So we measure the vibration, vibrational spectroscopies of the, this chemical bond uh, about the carbon hydrogens. So uh, the intensity of the enhancement of uh, this vibrational mode uh, is come from the electric magnetic field between the nanoparticles, the electric magnetic field is uh, this area. So the, this area corresponding to the starting, starting, uh, decreasing the uh, coordination number. So I check the is the eight to five is coincide to the some kind of such kind of structure is uh, important for the enhancement of the electromagnetic field. Uh, this is too, too large, the more uh, small, uh, small area of the, this uh, electromagnetic field, and uh, this is uh, too much uh, space of uh, this areas. So it is important to the uh, ratio of the uh, silver nanoparticles and the spacing areas. That is the uh, maximum point. Well, uh, this is the final result of the silver nanoparticles. So uh, our tutorials, the next, uh, uh, this uh, 
afternoons, we, uh, we like to discuss uh, the how important the silver nanoparticles for the some uh, scientific e e or technical areas. So uh, if you have some interest to the such kind of uh, uh, applications, we can discuss to the silver role of the silver nanoparticles. Of course, the same was the palladium or platinum or gold, very chemically uh, stable particles. Okay, so uh, I finished to the today's uh, lectures. So uh, if you have uh, any comment or questions, we can discuss to the some uh, subject. Do you have any questions or comments or some interesting point? Oh, yep. Now the composition? Is that right? Tell you? Yes. Rare. 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 Mm, are here, here. Ah, ah there. Yeah. Back? No. Next step? No. I'm sorry, I can't understand the real. Real material? Atom is R E A R R E A R R E A R Real, real, real. Real, real, real. <laughs> so yes, yeah. Did you absorbed the nanocomposite from rare earth? Is it uh, useful mm -hmm. or it has some disadvantage? Because there was written uh, that nanocomposite uh, mm -hmm. should be made rare earth free. Rare earth? Uh, that's not like uh, read the term, rare earth. You, you, you say the rare earth? Yes. I see, I see, I understand. Rare earth free, okay. This? This mo uh, <coughs> ah here <laughs> ah yeah 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 ah course this one ah ah layer yeah. that's a layer I no this is this is correct <laughs> I'm sorry this is a layer earth. Not real, real. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm. Of course, the real earth is commercially is high cost. So, and uh, the mm, we like to produce to the uh, photoluminescent species for lower cost. So we remove to the rare earth, to the not without rare earth, we made uh, some 
luminescent species. But uh, silver is also cost high cost. But after that, the, our motivation is the how, how our result is a very interesting. The, the luminescence part, in the luminescence part, the silver cluster has broken. So that means that the silver cluster is not important for this uh, uh, luminescence. So if we don't use to the, uh, we don't need to use the silver clusters, the another process that we, uh, we can make the, this uh, type of the luminescence species, that is a very good uh, purpose. Five nanometers. Samarium, Samarium, Samarium. Peak, peak means the peak, peak means the luminescence, luminescence peak, peer, peer energy, wave, wave, wavelength. Your question is uh, the energy of the luminescence is changing. Not energy, no. intensity. intensity. Position. position. Position means uh, wavelength yes, or, 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 or luminescent uh, energy. Ah, it. Uh, uh, yeah, it's changing. It's uh, mm -hmm. the energy of the luminescence is depends on the uh, number of uh, silver inside the cavities or zeolite type X or Y or Z, mm -hmm. and uh, some type of the. Mm. Yeah, same fortune. Go to that slide, I want to have this. Oh. That slide there is happening. 200 times here. Five and ninety jump. Electron volt nanometer conversion can go through. Actually, two point one five electron volt is equivalent to five ninety nanometer. Five ninety. Mm -hmm. yeah. Energy can be expressed in different ways. Mm -hmm. So what happens uh, to the uh, 
there's a there's there's more small shift because uh, uh, here is a very small um, resistance only the uh, sodium uh, zeolite the same almost same position uh, is ingre increasing but slightly slightly changing several several nanometers or several point zero point electron volt but uh, Roughly speaking, in the same positions, the same remittance peak is enhanced. Mm. Here I mentioned the uh, limiting factor of zeolite. Or the silver zeolite. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. yes. your, 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 your question is the uh, load of the zeolite framework. Ah. Uh, that is a difficult to un answer <laughs> in the present stage. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I, I continue to discuss. Any questions? No? Go to lunch? No. no. Uh, okay, good idea. Okay. Okay, uh, that uh, after lunch. We start with the two o'clock, two o'clock, uh, the short tutorials, and after that, the Professor Kumar.